Hey guys, welcome back to Law of Sports. It's Tyler coming at you with the Louisville recap. Um, I'll be honest, I was not able to watch this game in its entirety on Saturday because I was at a wedding and the wedding was just before kickoff. Um, so I was kind of running in and out trying to watch the game while getting dinner and doing the whole reception thing, celebrating all that. So I wasn't able to sit down and watch this game from start to finish like I am 98% of other Notre Dame games, but I saw enough to know that I'm absolutely discouraged in what I saw. Louisville is a terrible team, okay? I, I know people are saying, well, they're talented, they've got some good players, they're not as bad as their record shows. I buy all that, but my God, Notre Dame is not the third best team in the country. Let's stop fooling ourselves. I know the coaches and AP poll both have us behind Clemson and Alabama respectfully. But let me ask you this. Did you watch Clemson or the Clemson or Alabama play on Saturday? Because if you did, you know that they're there and Notre Dame is here. And I think Ohio State's better than we are too, and they even haven't played a game yet. So... I love Notre Dame, I live and die with this team, but I was not thrilled in the slightest by the way we played against Louisville. The running game was decent, but Ian Book was inconsistent, the pass catchers cannot separate from defensive backs, nobody's getting open, the play calling is way too predictable from Tommy Reese, he's got to do a better job of mixing in the run, mixing in the pass. This offensive line needs to be pushing Louisville off the ball. The defense looked pretty good. There were some, some plays where they could have got off the field and missed tackles or missed an opportunity, but they really only gave up seven points. It was a cleaner performance. There weren't as many penalties, or at least from what I saw, and I don't think we had any turnovers um, against Louisville. But 12-7 to against a 1-4 and four team that's in the bottom four teams in the conference is just unacceptable. If Notre Dame is even going to pretend for a minute that we have a chance in hell against Clemson, we've got to play better than that against Louisville. I don't want to make excuses. I don't know what excuses anybody could make other than the fact that Notre Dame slept walk for three and a half hours and was quite frankly damn fortunate to come out of there with a win. 12-7 to while Clemson is hanging 73 points on Georgia Tech. And Alabama is curb stomping the number four team in the country in Georgia by three touchdowns. There's no excuse for Notre Dame to be playing that poorly. Ian Book is in his senior year as a starting quarterback. There's enough talent around him. Notre Dame should have lined up and just blew Louisville out of the water. So all I'm going to say is it's disappointing. We did win the game. Let's just put it behind us. But this team has got to be more consistent. Everybody says, well, what do you expect? They're not going to win every game by 50. I buy that. Even the great Clemson almost lost to North Carolina last year. But what did Clemson do 90% of their other games? They beat inferior opponents by 50 and 60 points, just like they did to Georgia Tech on Saturday. Notre Dame doesn't do that. We come out and we play these Florida States, we play these Louisvilles, and we make them look like the freaking San Francisco 49ers with Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. We turn the ball over, we leave guys open, we, get, we miss tackles. It's not so much been the defense the last couple years, but the offense. We move the ball all up and down the field between the 20s, we get inside the five-yard line, and we want to throw the ball every single down. Line up under center and run the ball into the end zone like Alabama does, like Clemson does. Do some read option. I don't know. Ian Book's not Trevor Lawrence, but my God, Notre Dame is way better than these teams. And the last two weeks, it's just been a pretty uninspired performance. And to score 12 points, I'm really questioning Notre Dame at this point and whether we can get to the Clemson game without a loss, let alone compete with Clemson. I'm going to take a deep breath and set back. We got our first true road game of the season against Pitt this week. We'll see how we do there, but we've got to play better. This needs to be a quick, let's move on, let's come out and blow Pittsburgh out by 20 points, and maybe I'll calm down a little bit, but I was not happy with Notre Dame's effort on Saturday. This is Tyler with Loft Sports signing off. Go Irish.